Welcome to another episode of Four Player Podcasts Four Play. Welcome to Mars. I have arrived at the cave entrance. Despite the unusual readings, everything appears normal. So what this is, is a Metroidvania. A little more linear than a Metroidvania, but something like a Metroidvania on iOS. With some differences, which you'll see in a second. Okay. Jetpacks! Woo! You will take fall damage, so you gotta watch out for those spiky. Got a cool, distinct look to it. And this is where the game is different than Metroid. Um, there's no weapons in this game. You, you're planting, you're planting this life form in, in, in these cave systems and using the ecosystem to fight itself and, and pretty much using the ecosystem to do everything. Some plants will fight each other, some plants won't, some plants seed, some plants need water, some plants make water, and so you're using all these plants and the seeds to solve the issues. And that's really fucking cool, because it's different. As you'd expect, locked doors, and in this case, I have to plant some seeds to make enough oxygen or whatever it is to break apart that. There really aren't a lot of games with this kind of style on the app store. It's got a really cool look. And in this section you gotta build enough plants. Oh shit. Controls fairly well, it's all touch. Uh, the rocket, uh, the, I mean, the jetpacks feel a little. Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm not down there anyway. 
And uh, this gets more and more interesting as you keep get, going deeper into deeper caverns where you might accidentally do that. You might accidentally drop a seed for a plant you didn't want to plant and it would get planted and then it would start fighting off the plants that you were trying to grow. And so you kind of screwed yourself by making a big mistake and you get a lot into a lot of that that type of cool experimentation with finding out what plants do what to other plants and all that. So there's our map, and this game goes deep, real deep. So I'm assuming it's a fairly long romp through this. And as far as I can tell, you would probably be trying to get to this thing on the right, which looks like it might be a shadow of a base or a silhouette of a base. So that's that. And let's see if I can show you or have enough time to show you a couple more plants. And if we could get some interaction between some plants. Because I think that's where this game really is cool. This is really neat. Just a very unique. It's kind of relaxing. Discovered a new life form, one that even OC20 did not report. Just scan. Gather a seed. Hydrate these plants, they produce more seeds of theirs. And you can kind of guess where this goes. So I planted one of those, and I'll plant one of these, and I'll show you, last thing, what'll happen. Now that, that flower that produces the water seed, starts hydrating that plant, which now evolves and starts producing seeds. Just watch the ecosystem kind of work its way. It's really cool. If you got an iOS product, I'm not sure if it's just iPad, but check this game out, especially if you're into Metroidvanias. It's really neat. It's by Tiger Style, and I think uh, these guys did something unique enough, you know, to um, to garner some attention. 